It's funny being in a living room. I, I got married in a living room. I got married in the next performer's living room and he performed the ceremony. He was married recently and I spoke at his wedding. Um, this is a very, very close friend of mine. He was in Legally Blonde 2 for a couple seconds. Matt Price! <laughs> couple seconds. Bob. It's Mike. I don't believe in making lists of sexual conquests, except for the time that I made a list of sexual conquests entitled Girls I Made Out With. Hmm, Girls I Made Out With. That doesn't sound like a list of sexual conquests. And it's definitely a strange list for someone to write who is not a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> I agree with your judgment. But in my defense, I made the list while sitting on a plane the first time I flew after 9-11, 9-21 to be exact. And I was freaking out. All the passengers were. And this little list was my way of grounding me in simple funny anecdotes from my past, giving myself a pre-Sudoku diversion <laughs> while possibly awaiting a fiery death. <laughs> After a nerve-wracking takeoff, I contemplated who'd get the coveted first slot. Very important when I looked back after landing safely at LAX. My first kiss was a viable nominee. That came in sixth grade while watching the video for Shock the Monkey. <laughs> oh, oh, how about the girl who I kissed junior year in high school after we made a fort out of my friend Seth's couch cushions? And then, of course, there was the big-haired candy seller at the movie theater where I was head usher. She was four inches taller than me and had never met a Jewish person before. She asked me if it was true that Jews don't eat spaghetti. I told her that we did. Then we kissed with the passion of a rabbi at the Olive Garden. <laughs> the pilot jolted me back to reality and thanked us for flying with United, assuring us that we'd get back to LA in one piece. I didn't like the reminder that we could, in fact, land in several pieces. No, this is how it's gonna go, I thought, writing down names of girls that I'd kissed. What a sad, sad man I'd become. They'd find my journal next to the black box. My family's mourning would be amplified by the humiliation of this list of random girls' names. This list was supposed to make me feel better, but I felt pathetic. Most people in their 20s had fuzzy memories about who they had sex with, and I was recalling intimate details about kissing under a couch cushion fort. I vowed to change my tune. My friends have called me a serial monogamist, but if I survive this harrowing journey from my economy plus seat, I will experience life to the fullest and add a thousand more women to this list. A thousand more, I say. And then the names came flooding in. My germaphobic ex-girlfriend who wouldn't let me touch the subway handles. My on-again, off-again high school girlfriend who my friends nicknamed FBI warning. Because whenever we rented a movie, we'd make out as soon as the FBI warning about copyright law started. And there was the busty French woman who my friend Danny set me up with, Veronique. Veronique and I had nothing in common except that we were both human beings. And yet for some reason she thought that I was her little Gerard Depardieu. We made out for a few weeks before she went back to France and decided that she liked women. Zut alors. The plane touched down at LAX and everyone applauded. My list was complete. I had made out with 23 girls. I looked at my list and thought, okay, 23 is a low number, sure, but this is why I'm keeping good on the pledge. I'll take setups, J dates, Craigslist casual encounters, whatever. A thousand unknown women, here I come. For the next eight months, I added no one to my sad list. But then, with the speed of an FBI warning flashing on screen, I finally added one name, a pretty redhead who I met at a dive bar in LA. We got married this past spring. You can count them all on one hand or have a Will Chamberlain sized list of 20,000, but one name's all you need, people. Although if you can squeeze in a busty French woman, I recommend it. That was Trey Magnifique. <laughs>